Okay, we want to get back to this great story we were just telling you a few moments ago. After four decades leading champion bands at Battleground High School, it's his sound of music at this year's Grand Floral Parade that will mark the bittersweet end for students and staff as their beloved high school band director retires. Yeah, but new at nine, this band teacher just got a very big honor we told you about. Uh, for his final march, he'll not only be leading his band, he'll be leading the Grand Floral Parade as this year's Grand Marshal. Oxo's Riel Creighton introduces, introduces us to Greg McKelvey. One. Two, oh, one, two, three, four. This is how building a legacy happens. A legacy built on music. Some people uh, don't like the pressure, but uh, I thrived on that. Uh, it was a way that I, uh, it was a big motivator for, for me because you didn't want to look bad on national TV. For Battleground High School band director Greg McKelvey, this year's Grand Floral Parade... We always got in, uh, invited back. ...will be the culmination of 40 years of hard work. I always told my kids our audition for next year was how we perform this year. Retiring after four decades leading band after band and marching right into the record books of an iconic Portland tradition. And that was the first Portland band to ever place in the Rose Festival Grand Floral Parade. Plaques and championships that line the walls in the office tell the story of their incredible success. But what he gives back to his band, they'll tell you, is so much more. McKelvey says it's all about how you string it all together. Discipline, showing up, and so important, memorizing the sound, all those tunes. My favorite part about it is probably getting to see the band grow both in skill and kind of together. It's also what McKelvey taught drum major Carter Stafford. He's the one that kind of helped me to realize the, the payoff of hard work sheet music for a summer parade performance that they start practicing in January or February. More dynamic contrast. The softs have got to be softer, okay? But the sound, the balance is actually pretty good. And after 40 years, <laughs> Grand Floral this year will be this band leader's swan song. This is my last Grand Floral parade. What I'd say uh, to the band director and the bands coming up is number one, be well prepared, but two, enjoy the moment. Oh, what a special man he is. Oh what an gosh. exciting grand floor parade this is going to be. I, I have a feeling the crowd's going to go wild oh, yeah. when he comes it's through in that car. Much deserved. And, yes. you know, we don't think about it when we're watching the grand floral necessarily, but these bands are practicing for months and months. And for they the... make the parade. Yeah, I mean, they they're do. So, it's so impressive what mm -hmm. these young people do and these band leaders every year. It's possible.